I'm currently working in the master model A DGN file and master model A has the reference file direct attachment B which has a nested file nested attachment C. When setting the display overrides for direct attachment B to never any changes to the display of nested attachment C will only be made in the current session. Therefore, when the file is closed and reopened, the display settings are reverted to what is established in direct attachment B, never overriding these settings. So when the file is reaccessed, we see that nested attachment C has its display turned on. On the other hand, when display overrides for direct attachment B is set to always, any changes to the display of nested attachment C will be maintained in master model A DGN after closing and reopening. Therefore, always overriding the display settings that are established in direct attachment B. In this example, we see that the display for nested attachment C remains toggled off when the file is reopened. Additionally, we have the option for display overrides to be set to allow. Setting the display override to allow means that you can control the display settings for nested attachment C from the direct attachment B file, and these changes will be honored in master model A. Here, we have set the display for nested attachment C to be toggled off within the direct attachment B file. Upon opening master model A, we see that this display setting is maintained. These settings will be honored in master model A until a change is made to a display setting in master model A. In this example, the display for nested attachment C has been toggled back on after opening master model A. Having the display override set to allow will allow for the display settings for nested attachment C to be altered and maintained when the master model A file is closed and reopened.